Flamingo PD demands your comfort. Hello. I am IXA. It's a. Uh, I'm out of this world. I'm out of this world with you. I'm out of this. I'm out of this. I'm out of this. I'm Kepler Hubble, Tana, Copernicus, Rudy Versus. The amount of they got me so out of space, so she be done with this. I'm blowing, I'm blowing, I'm blowing, I'm blowing. What I'm talking got me choking cause it's potent No stress only chronic covered in crystals That look like they fell off the tail of hell is common Hydrogen hydroponic it's atomic Lost chaos and morose like supersonic Mission gonna roll and put you in the car we got a tonic Who pilots got a copy of the hood with my bonnets My buzz coming and looking for a nebula Cause I never smoke a regular I'm floating like a flame on the space dock Emitting energy is like a quasar And you won't even see me on the radar Creeping like a serpent of sin who's got a gay bar I'm going blind, staring at a pale sun, wondering how the my parents birth the female sun still busting at you, robots with the rail gun, causing devastation. Then I'm going to get my nails done. And it'll make you so better. Infrared, you can't see me cause I'm dark matter Motherfucker, my gravity well will make you so splatter So beautiful, why do you see me to the star I'm out of this world, it's a I'm out of this world, it's a massa 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 in the deeper coming out of me, and I just don't know how to bounce up. I can feel it in my soul, about the ball like the challenge. I'm a type of bank of gold, but they don't think I'm real, just like the moon landing. I'm a terminator species on the land, so good as I'm standing. My heart rises like the universe, eternally expanding. I'm out of this world, you're so nasty enough. I'm out of this world, you're so nasty enough. I'm out of this world, you're so nasty enough. I'm out of this world, you're so nasty enough. I'm blowing, I'm blowing, I'm blowing, I'm blowing. What I'm choking got me choking cause it's potent. Welcome to Amaze Festival Awards 2023. I think that might be my cue. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My goodness, how do you follow an intro like that? That was incredible. Thank you, Ixa. What an amazing performance. Um, I feel like you always are going to get your value coming to Amaze and seeing an incredible performance on stage. So thank you so much for that. Hi, I'm Jen. If you don't know me, uh, I've been hanging around Amaze for a little while now, uh, and I'm here to help present the 12th annual 
Amaze Awards show uh, tonight. Uh, I work at a place called Media Molecule, uh, and we work on some weird, strange, creative, playful experiences, one of which is called Dreams. Uh, and uh, yeah, love it. It's great. It's good fun. Uh, I'm a big fan of like weird, boundary-pushing, strange, sometimes quite disturbing games. We get plenty of them in Dreams. It's incredible. Uh, and I see plenty of them at Amaze. So that is why I'm back again for the second year running to present the show. Huge honor. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, good to be back. Like, good to be back. Uh, Amaze, obviously, bigger than ever. Last year, we had one on-site day. Uh, super incredible. Had so much fun. Uh, some incredible things to play and experience. Um, this year, it's even bigger. We've got even more parts of Silent Green open, even more things to play. Um, I controlled a game using a head today. That was incredible. Um, so yeah, it's great to be back, see the festival in full force again. I uh, hope you're all enjoying it. Good to see a few familiar faces around the festival as well, uh, some of whose names I remember, some of whom I don't. I have to be reminded. Um, but yeah, amazing to be back. Uh, and of course, we've got the uh, flamingos in the amazed space. I think I've seen some, like, throwing some confetti. Hello, flamingos. Confetti, if you can hear me. Um, but yeah, great to be in person and digital this year as well. It's incredible. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to do some more audience interaction stuff. I'll explain a little bit later. Um, flamingos, if you're in the space, maybe you could make some shapes, make some hearts. Um, and just interact and, uh, you know, use your confetti as applause as well as we uh, talk about our amazing award nominees tonight. Um, so, yeah, coming up, we have seven awards to present, uh, all really, really cool, uh, some super original category titles. Uh, I always have so much fun presenting them. Um, we had 287 works from 56 countries, so truly international uh, media festival here. Super incredible. Thank you so much to our international experts on the selection committee uh, for playing every single one of those titles. Um, that is quite the undertaking. Um, and making the list obviously smaller for our incredible jury, some of whom are here today. Hello. Hello, jury. <laughs> yes, give it up, give it up, give it up. Um, yeah, I, I've been told that once again, for the second year in a row, I have to shout out Mitch Larson and Rafael Simansky, uh, who reviewed over 50 entries, <laughs> which is just an incredible going the extra mile uh, feat. So yeah, round of applause for those two. Again, overachievers, if anything. Um, amazing. So we've got 30 final nominees for the awards tonight, lots of whom are here. I've met a few today. Hello, congratulations. Uh, how are you feeling? Are we nervous? Yes, Dawson's nervous, so you should be. You should be bricking it. Um, but every game, it's not just the nominees here, every game that is being exhibited at Maze this year uh, actually has the chance to win the Audience Award, which is one of our seven awards, and you might have got some stickers uh, and voted on some of your favorites as you've been playing in the event. Uh, and also in the Amaze space, they've been able to uh, vote on awards as well, and I was actually told that some of the uh, Amaze space votes were pretty instrumental in deciding a winner. Um, so good job, Flamingos. Well done. Uh, but first, uh, I have to introduce someone very, very special to the stage. Uh, he is part Flamingo, part festival director, all round art house disco superstar, Torsten S. Wiedemann, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. How are Hello, everyone. How are you? Are you feeling good? Yeah. What a festival. What a program. What a location. What games. What artists. What a maze. Yes. Where's the feedback? I need some feedback. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really very nervous. And um, as usual, I have something prepared. And I prepared this just to make me not nervous. And um, I just want to tell you that um, everything what is written here is in my heart. 
But sometimes when you're on stage, you forget stuff. That's why I have this, so that they do not forget. And uh, the first thing I definitely want to tell you, um, it's wonderful that you're all here. Because after all this pandemic and uncertainties and everything people going through in the last couple of three years, I'm super happy that everybody comes here to Berlin to Amaze 2023. So, welcome home! And I mean, 2020, it was 2020 exactly, when Amaze was not happening physically anymore, and then we built this Amaze space. It's also good to see that we actually don't need an Amaze space anymore because everybody's coming here. In 2020, people were in the space and they needed it. Hopefully in the future, there will be more hybrid things going to happen at the festival and also there will be more in use of those spaces again because traveling is a lot expensive. Accessibility for a lot of people is also something where we're also looking into. And I think all this kind of virtual stuff, in my mind, is the future anyhow, and games are definitely part of it. I not even, I not even started reading that, you know? <laughs> How much time do I have? Yeah. <laughs> So I really can't believe it, how wonderful it is here. So here in this location, second time at Silent Green. It's almost perfect. And um, this is something what Amaze never, never wants to become. Perfect, because who cares to be perfect? Because in everything, in everything what is going wrong, in everything what is a failure, there is a lot of potential to get better. And if we are perfect, then we're not going to get better. And that's why I think AI, for example, and everything like that is definitely not what I wanted to say, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> you bring so much positive energy into all these rooms, and it really touches my heart. And, and we all together playfully, playfully activate it and reborn a fully hybrid edition of a maze. And I really thank you about that. A flamingo once said, let them do what they want, and they will be happy. That sounds like anarchy, right? But no, this is a rule. This is a simple human code, or let's say a flamingo code, maybe, of respect. I'm already recharged with inspiration and motivation for the next year. This edition really, really brought so much life into the whole community again, which makes me really promising for the future of incredibly new games and a growing community around the world with Arthouse Games. The festival is not over yet, still two nights and one day to go, and it is most, almost, almost the most amazing festival experience I ever had, because I'm sober. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm not pointing out someone who is also sober. There are some, I know. So thank you to all you artists, participants, visitors, partners and sponsors team and especially to the volunteers. The volunteers have forgot at the opening speech, yes! Oh. For being part of this positive chaos here. You fill Amaze Berlin 2023 with heart and passion, all of you. I know I repeat myself, but it's very important that you know that. You, the nominees, honorable mentions, exhibitors, artists, speakers, performers, doing such radical good work. Your passion, your interest, your hopes, your dreams are playable to us. Your games are authentic. You are not feeding the mainstream. You are serving the arts. Your works are not only changing the game world, 
They are thought-provoking to the players. We are art house, we are indie, and cool. <laughs> the pun comes now. We are cool as watermelons at the beach together with flamingos. Yes, I know, I saw your tweet. <laughs> A flamingo once said, when you believe in your feathers, you can fly. Wow. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> At least one wow. <laughs> the nominees this year are representing a maze. They are milestones in the history of games and playful media. We love art house games, we love projects which are beyond games. We love playful media that connects different artists, arts, and different backgrounds. Theater and VR, visual arts, performing arts, and games, and this year as well, a lot of dance. There's also, we brought performances in the afternoon program as well, like music performances, AV performances, because we think just the talk in front of people, what is longer than 20 minutes, is not very good at all. <laughs> I still have time. It will be under 20. <laughs> Play <laughs> Playfulness is blurring the old separation of the known arts forms and creating new links and forms of communication that possibly creates intelligent and artistic interaction between the players and the virtual worlds. I'd like to see more art house games in stores, in distribution platforms. I'd like to see creators of art house games will be celebrating successful releases in the future. I'd like to see more publishers that, rep that represent art house games in a style of like a good music label, for example. I feel we are beyond games. You are beyond games. We are the new level of game creators. You are not serving the market, you are celebrating and you are exploring. You are explorers in the new, unexpected and new, brave game world. So, thank you very much for being here and serving the art world and changing the games industry. <laughs> Thank you to Medium Board Berlin Brandenburg for funding us over the last 12 years now. Great working with you. Thank you to all the sponsors, all the sponsors <laughs> and partners. Best ever. Let's have a call next week. It's in a better resolution than at the opening. <laughs> but I'm not starting that. Thank you so much to all of you. <laughs> Thank you to the amazed village participants. It's cool seeing the village always full with people playing the games. Thank you to the wonderful volunteers again. Thank you to the most amazing team. I'm working since a long time. Some of them I worked since 12 or even longer together, and we grew together and we built together. But especially I want to thank the program team, Sir Ryder Butter and Sebastian Hochstraken. <laughs> and um, the Omaze Awards, uh, is nothing without the mind behind. Thanks to Matthias Löwe for the jury and for the award coordination. He's sitting over there. He's <laughs> best producer.
And you have seen this um, animation? I think we're going to keep this over the next couple of years because this is really cool what Nomi and Oda Tilset did. This is incredible. Thank you again for hosting us, Silent Green, and thank you to all the tech team as well, in theory, for streaming into the AMA space even when there's nobody. <laughs> <laughs> And last but not least, I'd like to thank the wonderful jury, the independent jury we have this year. Some of them are not here, can't be here. Um, they are somehow in Bobedos or something. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe better than Berlin, but at least it starts with P. <laughs> Chris Wigley, Feze Komerani, Gabriel König, Yoon, and Renate. Helen, now I'm really looking forward to the winners. Thank you and have a good evening. Amazing, amazing job. I always leave here super inspired, but uh, it makes me laugh that uh, Amaze is one of the only places where there's like watermelon cults happening. Someone came up to me today. I had teeth earrings in. It's a long story. It's really not. I'm just weird. Um, they were like, are you part of the teeth cult? I was like, sorry. I mean, I could be. Um, I was like, someone's going around handing, handing out glow-in-the-dark skulls. I was like, I love this place. I love this place. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, Torsten. That was incredible. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, incredible. Incredible to be here. We have some great people that I would love to invite up on stage. Uh, without them, there would be no categories, there would be no awards, there would be no show. Uh, they've given us lots of their time to help judge some amazing entries. So, can I please get our judges to the stage? And can we give them a round of applause? So it's less awkward. <laughs> Amazing, brilliant. And are we, are, we, are, we, are we replacing the flamingos yet? Are we gonna get Chris and June on? I don't know, but if not, we can just chat. We can stand up here and chat about judging the amazing ones. <laughs> How are you all? Are you having a good festival, Renata? Are you seeing some stuff you're enjoying? Oh, we've got our other, oh, yes, <laughs> amazing. Woo, hello, hello up there. But yeah, how, how, is your, how is your festival experience so far? How are we doing? Um, yeah, it's really, really overwhelming and my brain is trying to switch between German and English at the same time, <laughs> so. <laughs> but it's overwhelming, I still haven't tried all the things because there's so much. Yeah, um, yeah it's amazing. <laughs> Bigger than ever. Yeah, and hello, calling in from all over the world, I think. Uh, other members of the jury, uh, incredible to see you. I, I want to ask you a little bit about the process of judging the awards. So, like, Chris, I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about uh, what your favorite thing is about judging the Amaze Awards in particular. What makes it different? What makes it exciting? Uh, just how unique everything is. Like, I, I work for 11-bit, so a lot of the stuff I see is very sort of um, commercialized, I guess. But Amaze, a lot of the games in Amaze, they don't care about that. They're just trying to tell something emotional, tell a particular story, and it just, it, the, the variety of things is, is, is amazing. Brilliant, so cool. Well, like, obviously it's gotta be a pretty tight contest, I would think. Were there moments where you were like, I mean, no spoilers, but was, was it close in some of these categories? Did we get into any fist fights? June, did you have to throw any punches? Uh, you know, how, how did it go down? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty peaceful. Um, oh, okay. But it, that doesn't mean it was easy. Like, there were definitely some, you know, Long, long rants uh, about why certain games should be should win over others. Uh. Sounds great. Sounds great. I would love to be a fly on the wall for some of those discussions. So I'll I'll grab you after the show, and I want I want the full tea. Um, but yeah, amazing. Thank you all so much uh, for helping judge our incredible nominees uh, and whittling down the list. Uh, until we're here tonight, I'm super excited. But yeah, I think uh, with that, I will, I, will, I will let you go back to your seats and we will hear from a few more of our remote judges throughout the show. So yeah, another round of applause, everybody. <laughs> we can go. I think so. <laughs> 
So I think we have one of our remote judges who's going to present the first award of the night. So while we get them up on a screen, I believe this one, uh, I'm going to explain what's going on. Let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about the people, the flamingos here. Incredible. Oh, hello. Oh, June it's faded away into the, into the void. Spoilers. Um, we have some incredible flamingos here tonight. Uh, with, uh, they're quite dexterous, actually, for birds with wings. They, these ones have hands. And they're going to be helping us present our wonderful series of awards. Uh, because, you know, you always need some pairs of helping hands. Um, so thank you very much. You know, like, let, let's, keep it, let's keep it PG-13 with the, with the hand gestures, maybe? Or, I mean, I don't know, Torsten? Are we, you know, should we? Yeah, yeah, OK, thumbs up. Thumbs up is right. So that's great, I think. So that's all explained, hopefully. You know, hopefully this makes sense to you. Very logical. Um, but you may have also noticed that there are some beach balls around uh, with like a variety of uh, unsettling things written on them. Um, this is because uh, if, if doing public speaking wasn't hard enough, uh, I thought I would sort of allow you, uh, you know, God style, to control some of my behaviors on the stage. Um, you know, we've got the flamingos interacting over there, so we thought we'd give you a chance. So I've already seen some of you kind of hitting the balls around. Great, great job. Um, so we've got seven categories, uh, and I'm going to let you throw a ball up each category, uh, and I will have to perform the action on the ball. So you've got seven. There's more than seven balls out there. Um, but can we get a beach ball to the stage to embarrass me? Oh! Incredible. Do a sales pitch for something on the stage. I, I do actually have something that might help this. Oh my god, June, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, what am I doing to it's you? It's all right. I, I have one of these, because I think sales, salesmen have mustaches. Anyway, thank you. Um, you know, I, I do it all out of love. This is a watermelon. Um, an inflatable watermelon, to be precise. Uh, I, I know that you know, I should pitch to you something that you need. So if you ever found yourself in a pool, gasping for air, trying to stay afloat, you ever feel like you want to stay afloat in life, then an inflatable watermelon is for you. Hand approved by the Watermelon Cult Committee. Uh, this is guaranteed to improve your life in myriad ways. So that's just one example of the slightly cringe things I will be doing tonight. <laughs> but we love cringe. Cringe is earnest. So thank you. So you know, feel free to get your, your, your favorite prompts to the front, and I'll give it a good go. So June, thank you so much for your patience. Hello. No worries. Welcome to the stage. Uh, where are you calling in from, actually, in the world? Uh, the Void. The Void, or, yeah. Um, well, more precisely, Iceland, yeah. <laughs> Iceland, Iceland, also known as Void. I absolutely love it. Um, but June, you were part of our incredible Amaze jury today. Um, you have founded uh, a ton of games events yourself, I've been told. Screen Shake and Isle of Games, is that correct? Amazing job. I co-founded, yeah. Oh, brilliant, amazing. <coughs> well, I kind of wanted to ask you uh, and get to, uh, to know a little bit more about your process. What makes a great games event? What makes a successful games event? What kind of qualities do you have to kind of ensure? Um, I think what what's made the most great for me is just like meet, meeting people and getting people to you know to kind of have something to talk about. So like the games are there to talk about. You go watch a talk. You find find yourself sitting next to somebody. You might want to talk to them about the talk. You might go up to a speaker. It's just kind of it, in a way, especially like a maze more than other events. It's like quite can be like an equalizing factor where, you know, these people who maybe you know them from Twitter or other terrible websites, and now you can like actually go and talk to them in person. Um, for me, that's always been the most important thing, but you need all the other stuff there, right? Like you need the games there, you, do, you need the talks there, you need um, exhibitions, and you also need time off, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's like part holiday, part spiritual experience, maze. <laughs> um, but fantastic. Yeah. It's great. Like, I love, you know, conversation starter games. That's truly what you've got here. Um, and yeah, great to hear you are uh, founding loads of these cool events yourself. So, yeah, awesome. I think with that, uh, I will get out of your way and I will let you present the first award of the night. Uh, I'll be taking this. See you in a bit. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jen. Um, so yeah, I'm Yon, and I have the honor to present the Digital Moment Awards. This is the award for poems, statements, 
experiments, short experiences, expressions of socio-critical socio messages, personal or comedic life situations, and feelings through an interactive medium. Let's have a look at our nominees. Hey, this is Sam Atlas, developer of Extreme Evolution Drive to Divinity. I'm really excited to be nominated for an Amaze Award this year. I've never been to Amaze before, and I'm really excited to meet everybody. Everything is about to change. Hi, my name is Paola Vera. I'm director of Mexico 1921 at Deep Slumber. With this documentary video game, we want it a historical and academic research to be the guide and foundation of a fun and interactive experience where the player would actually experience history rather than seeing it as a far-off subject, and also to allowing them to experience a particular and defining moment in the Mexican history. Hello, Amaze, and thank you for the nomination. Mind diving lets you relive old memories. So this amaze I want you to think about. If you could relive one memory in vivid recollection, what would it be? Hi amaze. I want to say thank you to everyone for playing on Wii and including this work at the festival. Ami is a very personal game to me, and I hope that some part of Rami lives on in it and in everyone who plays it. If you want to follow the project's development further, uh, follow me and my collaborator Julian Palacios on Twitter. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ewald, and I'm the developer of Stim. And I'm Niels from Exonice, and I help Ewald develop Stim. We're located in the north of the Netherlands in a town called Leeuwarden. We are a team of two, plus the talented people at Moonseller for the audio. Cool. Oh, my person ran away. Oh, they're back. Uh, yeah, so those are some uh, amazing games. This year's Digital Moment Awards goes to a game that focuses on pure movement without adhering to conventional physics or mechanics. Navigating the game spaces is daunting at first due to their abstract transcendental aesthetics. Playing the game for the first time is like making sense of a dream. Yet the game acknowledges this in its design by allowing you to experiment and steering you towards the sublime and through it towards the divine. The winner of this year's Digital Moment Award is Extreme Evolution Drive to Divinity by Sam Atlas. Congratulations, oh, yeah. amazing. <laughs> oh, did you want to say something? <laughs> Am I doing a poor job here? You can totally say okay. something. Hello, whoa, it's bright. That explains it. Yeah. Oh. oh, here we go. A mic. Hello. Whoa. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, wow. congratulations. <laughs> the description kind of gave it away a little bit to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that sounded a lot like my game. Oh, when you started talking happening? about it. And yeah. you're like, oh no, now I gotta go on stage. I get the feeling that you played it from your description of it. Uh, well, it was my description. Man. I can't take credit. I can't oh. take credit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'm like overwhelmed. This is so exciting. I had no idea it would go like this. That's so cool. Wow. Um, thank you so much. I've been having like a really great time. Um, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Great speech. Fantastic speech. We love that. Short, functional, to the point. Beautiful. Congratulations, Sam. Uh, oh my gosh. 
Well, I'm going to do this one according to the rules, but uh, we'll do it in a minute. I want to say thank you, June. Oh my gosh, June's gone to the void again. Goodbye. Thank you. We appreciate your help. Um, incredible, incredible stuff. I guess I better do another one of these. I knew this was going to happen. This is eat a piece of a cue card. I overestimated the size of the piece of the cue card. <laughs> Can I swallow paper safely? Yeah, fine. <laughs> what if I choke live on stage at a maze? <laughs> How much can I sell this for? <laughs> Am I famous enough? Do I have to commit to the bit? Yeah. <laughs> this might take a while. It's breaking up. Salty. Anyone know any good jokes? You asked for this. You could have had any. What do we do about this? Do I have to do this one next, or are we, is, it, is it invalid? Oh my god, I hate you. Only at a maze. Only at a maze. Right, where am I in these cues cards? We're on to our next award of the night. I'm feeling nourished. You're evil for this one. Um, but I, I believe we are welcoming our next jury judge to the stage, Chris, Chris, Chris Wiggly. Here he is, round of applause, everyone. Hello. Thank you for bringing me on after that um, paper episode. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad everyone's entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> how are you doing, Chris? How, 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 is, how is life at home where you are? In, are, you, are you calling from Barbados currently? I am. So I'm very hot. Um, OK. And all is good over here. <laughs> You're being fanned by the, your hands yes, on stage. Thank you. So yeah, very, uh, I'm still chewing paper. They're awesome. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> There we go. Well, uh, Chris, you kind of mentioned it before, but you, you were scouting games over at 11-Bit uh, Studios, right? Yes. So I, I do OctoCurio, which is like a Twitter account slash website that curates indie games. And then I also work as a scout for 11-Bit and they kind of sort of merged. Amazing. Yeah, we love indie game curators. I love this stuff. Um, so uh, I, I wanted to ask you, actually, like whether you have any kind of secret top tips for people curating uh, games. What kind of qualities do you look for in, in games that you think, oh my gosh, this one's a superstar game, it's going to go all the way? Are there any, are there any uh, hard and fast rules to follow, or is it just like gut feel? Uh, a lot of it is gut feel, I think, but obviously the way your game looks is sort of the first, people, first thing people see. So having like a unique art style that stands out because you're sort of competing even in a casual game for eyeballs. So the, the more it could stand out from the crowd, I think, sort of pushes it forward and and leads to success, I guess. And in terms of like curating stuff, I think for anyone who wants to curate, the, the best thing to do is to find your style because each curator that I like has their own love. Like Pixel Prospector is all about retro games. Wholesome Games is about cute and wholesome stuff. So I think having your own sort of twist on that um, attracts your niche and the people that want to see those games. So. Amazing. That's a that's a great and thorough answer. I like. I think that's uh, great. The whole uh, the first bite is with the eyes, right? So if you've got a, a super catchy kind yeah. of memorable art style, that's uh, that's setting you up for success. Can you? I'm putting you on the spot a bit. Uh, are there any kind of recent games in recent memory where you're like, oh, that art style was something that like fully caught my eye? Oh gosh, I do, but I'm trying to remember which <laughs> ones are public and and which ones are not. Um, so. I, Recently, I guess Sable, but that's not recent. Sable, I just love their sort of, um, I can't remember the name of the artist, but their uh, Mobius, the inspiration from their just, it, it, when you first saw it, whenever that was like a couple of years ago, it immediately jumped out of the page as something that felt really unique. And it sold the mood of the game as well. So it's sort of working in tandem with what the game is and, and speaking to the audience, I think. 
That, that was a terrible answer because it's so old, but I'm sorry. I think that was great. There's a top tip in there for anyone making a game, like about kind of having it connect with what the game's about and the mood of the game, um, putting that across immediately with the visuals. Great. So great to talk to you. Uh, I am going to exit stage left. I think it's, I think it's this left. Uh, and let you get on with presenting the next award. Thank you, Chris. Sure. Chris, everybody. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Chris. And I have the so I have the honor to present the Human Human Machine Award, which is an award for the best game that can be played by two or more people in the same room and highlights human interaction. Let's have a look at the nominees. <laughs> so cool! Hell yeah! Hi, I'm Clemence de Beg from Unwired Dance Theatre. Discordance is really pushing the boundaries of live and playable theatre with dancers in full mocap co-present with the audiences in VR. It's a tiny team, it's a labour of love, so shout out to Lina Wolf, Livia Massarelli and Joy Bit. Hello Amaze, I'm Samuel Partridge, the studio lead of Tributary Games, and it's an honour to be nominated for King of the Castle. It's a political party game where you join your friends for free, and together you rule a kingdom while scheming against each other. I wanted to take this time to thank our team, who deserve all credit for this nomination. Players assume the role of an arbiter for the BMA. Clients come to the Bureau for help when they've run out of options in their own universe. Let's see if you've got what it takes to cut it in the BMA. Hi, I'm Nadia, co-founder of the game studio Aconite, bringing you the game Bureau of Multiversal Arbitration, a collaborative storytelling project with three participants, us, the game masters, the players, and a generative AI. Thank you for having us. The Zabanager has the most toxic blood in the galaxy, and these bastards are weaponizing her. We can't let that happen. Hey everyone, Jason here. In Alien Rescue, you have a ton of agency to do whatever you want. So yeah, I guess you could drink green goo in an alien biolab, but should you? Whoa. Hi, I'm Pat Ritt. I'm the solo developer of Yugo, the non game. I'm uh, very happy and honored to be nominated for the Maze Awards. Uh, Yugo is a non game about reconnecting with people and have a long road trip like conversations. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so uh, I am very nervous like Thorsten, so I wrote everything down, but like him, these all come from the heart. Um, I love this category for how it brings humans together and especially how each nominee does this in their own unique way. Discordance for bringing dancers from across the world to be together digitally on stage to share a touching moment with an audience. King of the Castle for finding a way to bamboozle a giant Twitch mob into role playing together in an endearingly chaotic fashion. The Bureau of Multiversal Arbitration for the way they use the emerging technology of AI art to build a community and to challenge that human collective to be creative to be creative together. Uh, Alien Rescue for how the really real characters in the game encourage and empower players to have a voice in their own shared story. And Yugo, which for me is a bit more personal as it carved out an hour for me to reconnect with old friends in a new way. So thank you for that. I encourage everyone to check out these amazing games for themselves and experience the connections they can create. But unfortunately, there can only be one winner. And the winner is Alien Rescue by The Meta Movie. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, I am so honored to accept this award on behalf of the entire Alien Rescue crew. Uh, we are a very indie unit of lots of uh, developers located all over the world. We all had such a blast at Amaze this week. 
uh, inviting the jurors into our show and screening our live show and running our crazy experiments uh, yesterday where we let the audience at a maze actually control one of our heroes via uh, chat on Twitch. That was so fun. So thank you, everybody at a maze. Thank you uh, for allowing us to come. And thank you for the jurors. Uh, the uh, other nominees in my category, your work is insanely good, and I'm just honored to be a part of this. So uh, thank you, everybody. This has been such a blast. <laughs> Woo! Incredible. Incredible. What, what the dog? Pet the dog? Good boy. Good boy, good job. <laughs> Great idea. It's the kind of interaction you only get at a maze. Congratulations so much, team at the Meta Movie. Uh, incredible, incredible stuff. Goodbye. We will, we will see you. And thank you so much, Chris. Chris is also gone. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh, incredible. It's time for another one of these. Um, oh, we're stacking them up now. Where's it? Oh. If you do too many, I'm going to forget which order they're in, so maybe you're going to have to point. Um, this one is, you are being hunted for tax fraud. Um, and, you know, you, you have to be a bit method with this stuff. The, the, the mustache is going to have to come out again, because I am no longer Jen Simpkins. I am now a uh, plant von watermelon, um, and I pay all my taxes. Um, so if you find anyone looking for me, uh, uh, no, they're not. Anyway, uh, should I remain in disguise for the rest of the show? Maybe. Uh, not great for the lip readers. Uh, never mind. Um, okay, well, we're moving on to our next award category, and I believe we're going to welcome to the stage one of our jury members. Renata Hillen, please come to the stage. <laughs> Incredible. Can you, can you cope with this, or does it need to come off? <laughs> no, you can leave it on. It, it suits you. <laughs> Great, please refer to me by my given name, Plant von Watermelon. Uh, I tried to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Great, God, this is really tickly. Anyway, Renata, we're going to have a serious conversation. Um, Renata, welcome. Welcome to Amaze. Uh, Finn, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, von Watermelon? Yeah, well, exactly, yeah, uh, and I pay all my taxes. Anyway, um, you are a feminist media edu educator, which is super exciting. You are part of building the future of, this is an unkempt mustache, building the future of games uh, and the future landscape of games. So I wanted to ask you, what would you love to see happen in your kind of utopian vision of the future uh, for games education? Uh, <laughs> wh what does that look like for you? Yeah, well, it's a two-part answer, I think, and I have to answer from a German perspective because, duh, I live here, and I think anyone who has ever had to work inside the German education system knows how far behind we are, especially considering technology. So um, the first part would be pretty humble, I think. I just want everybody, every institution, everybody who works in education has access to all the amazing technology we have without leaving anybody behind and without um, people who can't maybe afford the next gen graphics cards or whatever. So basically state funding, more of it, that would be one part. And the second part would be that we can finally have discussions about, I don't know, awesome characters without having to worry about racism, sexism, and all the other shit because we have, that's why I love the talk by Alan, uh, the hyper talk, uh, about smashing the colonialism, and so I have to agree with it. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that's a great answer. I'm sorry for wearing a mustache in the face <laughs> of your really beautiful and well-considered answer. Uh, great, great message. Like, games accessible for all. That's what we love. We love funding, uh, and we love as many people as possible, as wide a range of pe people as possible, playing games and making games and having yeah. fun with games. Um, great. Great job. Well, you have something to do for us. You're going to present the next award. So I'm going to let you do that, um, and I'm going to take this off, because this is really warm. Like, <laughs> Like, do you, are you, do you just have a warm face if you have a really big mustache? Can anyone confirm? Like, yeah? Yeah, shave it, it sucks. Anyway, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah, um, hi, I'm Renato, and I have the honor to present the Long Feature Award. 
This is the award for complex games and developing virtual reality worlds. Those are the ones who challenge your life by offering immersive storytelling and much more than two hours gameplay. So let's have a look at the nominees. from the entire Bad Hat Games team for nominating Flawless Abbey to May 2023. We are artists, musicians, writers and programmers who want to create the most dreamlike, dramatic adventure the universe has ever seen. And I hope you will enjoy it! We love Colossal Studios for Apes 39 trillion microbials is all people more to 30 turns around the sun maybe Katari Bohomili love that design but just confused oh, shall I, you how many malice in the family of Babylonia Hi, this is Kevin from Scavenger Studio, and on behalf of the whole team behind Season A Letter to the Future, we want to thank you so much for this nomination. We put a lot of ourselves into the game, and seeing it connect with people has been really beautiful. Um, so thank you again so much for nominating us. We can't change the past, but we can learn from it. Hi everyone, I was Creative Director of South of the Circle. Now, we really wanted the emotions in the game to feel authentic, and so we worked with wonderful actors to achieve that. I really hope you love exploring Antarctica as we did, and thank you, Amaze. When you're feeling sad, jazz is there to help you. It was born on slave ships, Think about that and listen to jazz. Okay, so like everybody else, I have written it down because I'm extremely nervous, so um, <clears throat> let's take a moment because this game immediately conveys a beautiful atmosphere with its style and sound. It starts building a narrative where you can't help but wonder what happened before. In this gorgeous world you explore, you decide what's important to you, what you want to highlight and what you want to carry with you. It is simple what you make of it. There's no rush. It invites you to stop and take a moment. Otherwise, you might miss something cute, quirky, or maybe even something sad. It invites you to take it all in and enjoy the wholesomeness that is this game. So, the winner is Scavenger Studio with Season A Letter to the Future. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I'm representing a very, very talented and passionate team set in Montreal and in other parts of Canada and all over the world. Uh, I'm, I'm so, so lucky to have been across such a talented uh, group of other games. I'm very, very happy to be at Amaze in general. It's such an incredible, uh, enriching place that just encourages creativity and, you know, not uh, really sticking to the status quo. And I really appreciate this word on, on, um, on behalf of the rest of the team. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, everyone. Amazing. Well, congratulations to you and the team, and thank you so much, Renata. Round of applause again for Renata. Come on. Not easy getting on stage. Don't I know it? Um, we have to do another of these. He's looking at this one, so if he's a he, he could be a they. 
play catch with an audience member while presenting. This is going to test how well I can do without these cue cards. Um, OK, who wants to play catch? Someone in the front row? Oh, Horatio will play catch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the cue cards over. OK, so yes. <gasps> Come on, put some, put some spin on it. Oh, if we hit screen, imagine. Uh, I, I, I still need to play catch while I'm doing this. Please welcome to the stage the person who's going to help us present the next award. Oh my gosh, player three has entered the game. Going to help us present the next award of the night. Um, uh, the winner of last year's Wings Gender Diversity <laughs> Award. It's Faeza Komeran. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Horatio. You may now be, be seated. Hello. Oh gosh, I'm sweaty. Are you Hello. Plan or Jen? Sorry? Are you Plant or Jen? Uh, oh, uh, I think I'm Jen. Okay. Um, I think I've successfully dodged uh, the authorities. Um, but if anyone sees anyone sneaking up the row um, looking dangerous, let me know. Anyway, hi. How lovely hi. to see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, we've been having fun. Amazing. It, you're, you're back this year as well. I'm back. They can't get rid of us. We're here to stay. How are you? How have you been? How's life? Oh, it's been good. good? Yeah, Enjoying been, the show? Yeah, it's, it's, it's my first time in person at Maze, and it's really wonderful. Amazing, yeah. Well, it was great to present you with uh, the Wings Award last year. Yeah. We had lots of fun doing that. Um, and lovely to, lovely to see you here, unless you were the person who threw the ball about me eating the card, <laughs> in which case, don't come back. Oh. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, Fires no. would never do that. But whoever it was, I'm coming for you. Um, Anyway, yeah, I, I, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the experience of winning the Wings Award last year. Mm -hmm. um, like, how have things changed kind of in that year for you? What have you been up to since? Like, let us know kind of how life's been since then. Oh, thank you. It was a really unbelievable moment for me in my career, in my journey. And uh, I want to give a special thanks again to the Wings team and the Mays team for granting me that honor. It was really good. And since then, things have changed. I, uh, for example, I had the opportunity to visit uh, Lithuania for the Bloom Festival with the Amaze team. And I met so many wonderful people. Some of them are here. I have met them again. And like, yeah. And uh, yeah, as for my works, I've also uh, working on creating a board game for uh, the idea, the concept of the, um, the game that I won the Beings Award for. And other than that, I'm creating a really personal digital experience for my country and especially the women of Iran because they're fighting for their freedom and I want them to, I like the board needs to see what's happening there. Wow, incredible. There's so much going on for you and uh, what amazing projects. Like, good luck with those. They yeah. sound awesome. Um, so, yeah, lovely to see you in person in the meet space for the first time. Uh, and I'm going to let you get on with the business of presenting our next award, so thank you. Yes. Off I go. Thank you. Um, oh. um, okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Faiza, and I have the honor to present uh, the Explorer Award. This is the award for all form of experience beyond the boundaries of contemporary ways to play or develop games, such as alternative controllers, interactive installations, creative coding experiments, robotics and tech performances, as well as interdisciplinary teams, collaborations with science, makers, engineers, researchers, theater, and writers. Now let's have a look at the nominees. Hi. Hi. This is Samira Kass. Das bedeutet es auch, das Wasser anstellen. Hi, all at the Maze Festival. I'm Fabian Kufus, and I can't be with you at the festival, unfortunately, because of the exercises in the wheel. So, have fun and stay safe. Good morning. It's okay to look around, but don't take anything. Hi, we are Leanna and Lawrence from Vienna. And we want to thank you for nominating us this year at the Maze. And we really hope you enjoy our weird interactive dream station. We've lost contact with the Atlas 3 mission.
We're sending your rover to the mission area so you can figure out what went wrong. Report back as soon as you have any information. In Lost on Mars, you control the rover on Mars to figure out what happened to a lost expedition. I really wanted to play around with knobs, controllers, buttons, and so on. If you haven't had a chance to experience this project, I hope you'll come by tomorrow during the main festival day and check it out. Why do we still talk about opera? Why do we still produce the opera? Why do we still opera, opera, opera? My name is Michael von Zwingler. I usually work as a director for theater and music theater. I love to break down boundaries between the art forms. In the last years, I discovered for me the potential in bridging the analog and the digital, which was so important for us as theater makers while the pandemic. It's been a while since someone's wandered around this place. And wanderers are always welcome. Hi there, my name's Matt, and I'm from Sad Owl Studios. I'm the game designer on Viewfinder, a game about using pictures and a camera to reshape your world. Thanks to the Amaze 2023 nomination, and thanks to all my colleagues for their incredible work. Uh, as you see, every game in this category offers a unique and inspiring approach to game design. I love every one of those games, and choosing between one to win the, cat, uh, the Explorer category was really difficult. Like with Lost on Mars and its ultra-creative controller, Opera Future Game with the beautiful combination of theater and games. It's just a dream where you are immersed into a strange dream using controlling a head. Human level and interacting with a live human character and viewfinder where you bend reality to pictures. This year's award goes to the game that is designed for true explorers. And the award goes to Trey Ram with Lost on Mars. <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys. This is uh, seriously an amazing experience. It's been so wonderful to see everybody playing the project, to enjoying the project, to talking about it, coming up with theories. And I want to thank everybody that puts together this festival. I want to thank my family, my friends for testing the game, helping me out. And thank you so much. Uh, this is, I'm speechless, honestly, really. This is amazing. All right. Well, wonderful stuff. And so nice to see you, Fayeza. Thank you so much for your help. You may now thank you. sit back down. Uh, incredible. <laughs> Love to see it. Right. Uh, before we move on, you know the drill, I have to do another ball. Uh, I, I, guess, I guess it's this one? Uh... Oh, ooh! <laughs> A newcomer. <laughs> okay, okay, this one, fine. Fine, the pity vote. You are terrified of your own shoes. Should I do this throughout the, the next part? <laughs> Does that work? I can't scream too loud, the audio team's going to kill me. Um, congratulations, Trey. Uh, incredible win. Love to see it. Um, and, and, and we have balled. How are the flamingos doing in the May space, by the way? Uh, while I try and get away from my own shoes. Yes! Confetti! Yes, flamingos. A blue flamingo. That's a special one. We love a blue flamingo. Uh, and, uh, uh, okay. Uh, let's, let's get someone on stage to distract me. Uh, we saw a little bit from them earlier, uh, so I would love to welcome back to the stage a very, very special guest, Ixa. Can we have Ixa to the stage? Have of applause, please. <laughs> Hello. So good to see you. Oh, we absolutely loved your performance earlier. Thank you. Incredible stuff. The visuals as well. More so, to come. So cool. Well, yes, exactly. Um, first, I just want to ask you what you've been up to, because you actually came and performed at Amaze 2018. Was that yes, correct? Yes, back at Urban Spree. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I have lived several lives <laughs> oh, since 
2018. At least one pandemic. <laughs> um, so what have you been up to uh, since then uh, that you can tell us about? Like, uh, what, what's, what's kind of been going on in your world? Well, during the lockdown, we actually had a streaming festival in 2020. So I performed for that as well. That was really cool. Digitized version. And I've released a, a few albums. I actually just released an album last week called Pink Noise. So... Uh, <laughs> you can what check it out on uh, Bandcamp. You what can find the title. info on the site. And uh, yeah, last year I went on tour with Peaches as their stage tech for the Teaches of Peaches anniversary nice. tour. It was a lot of fun. So shout out to Peaches, Cracker, and that whole team. And yeah, now we're here again in 2023. So good to have you back. And I know I want to see more from you. Um, I think we have a little more time in the stage schedule for another performance. Will you give uh -oh. us another performance? Let's make it happen. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Oh, and there's going to be a grand entrance. OK. Let's give it up one more time. Fixer! Woo! Kick it. Yeah, yeah flex the whip. Uh, honestly, this is like a library book. It's coming out the ass. I read the red pockets of all of my teeth, the red teeth, they be coming up about to ask. If it's something about the past, I don't really get into that. I've been keeping this eye, but it's no big, and I am below me. It's pillars, gone legs, and pillars, don't let it to kill us, don't let it to the chase. It's Kobe, they grow me in class, but I grow them on me. I'm 
Oh my gosh, that was brilliant. Thank you so much. Uh, they were holding me back. Uh, so I've come on without shoes. <laughs> yes, come to Panka after. Panka is amazing. Last year we were out till literally 5 a.m. Uh, and some of us probably longer. I've already got my shoes off. What more do you want? <laughs> hey, cameraman. <laughs> Make intense eye contact with the camera. <laughs> Hello. Hi at home. Beach ball? You ask for this. Well, they ask for this. OK, let's get on with presenting the next award. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ixa. Incredible artist. So cool. I can't wait to see you later. Uh, and, 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 and catch up. So good to see you back at Amaze. Um, right, let's move on to our next category, Sans Shoes, because uh, that was difficult. Um, and let's welcome to the stage another of our amazing jury members. Can we get Eliano Ikawa to the stage, please? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, I am. Yeah. Thank you for asking. It's uh, also it's my first time at the maze, so it's just been kind of extra special, but I'm having a great time. Brilliant. What's your impression of the show? What's the overall, I don't know, could you sum it up in one word? Amazing. Oh. <laughs> that is kind of lame, I guess. <laughs> um, but, but it is, it really is. I'm really enjoying it. Um, uh, meeting a lot of awesome people, looking at awesome games, awesome performance, great weather, cool Berlin, so yeah. Yeah, oh, cool. it's so good to catch up with so many people. I feel like I'm barely getting any time to play games because I'm like, oh my God, it's you, it's you, it's you. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's actually. a really great place to hang out with people. <laughs> uh, enjoying the garden a lot. Enjoying yes, the sunshine. Yes, the grass, yes. You yeah. don't get a lot of that in the UK where I'm from. So yeah, I'm from Sweden, so I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of sun the year round. Ooh, but we love Sweden. We love yeah. Sweden. Yeah, more. UK. Woo! Give some love. No. UK, not so much. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, this is the second year of uh, the Wings Award at Maze. Obviously, you uh, are part of the Wings Initiative, yep. uh, doing incredible work over there. Uh, and we love to see it back at Maze with like the coolest trophy I think I've ever seen. That is yeah, very, very smart. I have to agree. And even yeah. your cue cards yeah. match. Yeah. Like the, the, the orange, like that's tasty. <laughs> that's so cool. Um, so yeah, we love, we love Wings and Amaze. What a great relationship. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about kind of your personal uh, uh, feeling about uh, supporting Amaze. What does supporting Amaze and all the artists at the show that you're here, you're meeting, what does it mean personally to you to be able to do that through Wings' work? Ooh, uh, <laughs> those unexpected questions. Um, it, yeah, I mean, at Wings, we like truly believe that the successful games of tomorrow are gonna come from teams with great diversity. And uh, we all know that in all these 12 years that Amaze has been around, they always gather super diverse teams and uh, cool people and creators from all around the world. Uh, and then you have like a lot of art house games that go beyond, like oh, projects that go beyond games. And then we believe that this is just the perfect fit for what we are looking for. We believe that our missions are aligned and then I think this is, uh, is yeah, it's great to be able to support. Yeah, 
it's so good to see it back. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, Woo! come on. We love Wings and everything you do for super, super talented art creators. Super cool. So you are going to present the award this year, naturally, as, as, is, as is correct. Uh, and I will let you uh, say a little piece to the audience uh, about Wings so you can learn more about the initiative, uh, what it stands for, uh, and, and, and what it does for the creative community. So take it away. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I'm Eliana and I'm here today on behalf of Wings. And we are super proud to return to Amazing this year and to present for the second year in a row our Wings Diversity Award. Uh, our mission at Wings uh, is to fu offer funding and opportunities to gender, marginali gender marginalized developers and amplify the incredible work that they do in games. Uh, we have funded many games so far, and then we are always looking for more teams and developers to support, so you know what to do. Just throw your business card at the stage right now. No, I'm joking. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, uh, and at Wings, we believe that diversity drives creativity, and as such, as I said before, we are super happy to be collaborating with festivals like Amaze. Um, and then the, this is a unique festival showcasing art house games from diverse creators from all around the world. And with that, we present the Wings Award, which highlights outstanding games where women and other gender marginalized developers hold key positions. Selected from five incredible nominees, this year's winner will receive this beautiful award alongside with a 2,000 euros prize. So please, here are the nominees. Hi, we are Fine Games, Berlin-based game studio founded and led by women with a mission to create more space for women in the games industry. Hi, Natcha here. I'm the creator of Psychotic Bathtub, the story of an escalating mind and ducks. Thank you so much for this nomination. We are thrilled. We want to destigmatize mental health disorders and make them relatable and accessible. We want to make a difference. Hey, Miss, it's Paloma here. Thank you so much for the nomination. We had a truly diverse team. Uh, Songs of the Lost was inspired by Dante's Inferno and the way that technology takes over our lives. I make games to express myself as an artist. The Horticulturist, my game nominated this year, is about my own personal experiences and those of my close friends. Nobody explains to us what's going on. We just have to piece it together as best we can. Something's fishy, if you ask me. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, this is way less cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. I haven't seen the videos before. This is really nice. So congratulations to all nominees. It is wonderful to see so many amazing projects from amazing teams. And then we can look to, we can wait to see more about these teams in the future. So, but for this year's winner, so, this year's winner invites us to take a moment with our own selves. We open our eyes to find ourselves in a relaxing and intimate moment. But we are instantly, sorry English, instantly confronted by the anxiety of being by our own selves, surrounded by darkness, silence, and the echoes of our own overthinking mind. We are accompanied by selected objects that can bring both relief and harm. 
adding a sense of urgency and danger, keeping us engaged and invested in the outcome. The game draws attention to mental illness. It is powerful, yet it's funny and respectful. It is a testament to the power of games to promote awareness and empathy, and we are honored to recognize its creators with this well-deserved award. The winner of a May 2023 Wings Award is Nacha with Psychotic Bathtub, the star of Escalating Mind and Back. Wow, I'm really overwhelmed. Thank you so much. I think this is the moment to say th thanks, Mom. <laughs> wow, this is so bright. Thanks, Tatiana, my sister. You've supported me so much during this whole journey. Thanks to everybody who came by to play Psychotic Bathtub. I'm speechless. This is amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. <laughs> Congratulations, Nacha, but Ilana. Oh, I'm wondering if we have Nintendo style. One more thing uh, for us to do. <laughs> Welcome back to the stage. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I, uh, I don't want to leave, basically. I just want to stay here. I'm going to be coming back and forth to the stage. That's you can be, like, we can be a, a comedy double yeah, act. Yeah, I think right? so. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, I was told that there is kind of one more thing you were going to take care of tonight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you for my. <laughs> I'm here. That's so, what the cue cards are for, baby. Um, where, where is that? Where is Flamingos. that? I think there's one more thing that we have. Hands, flamingo hands, sneaky flamingo. Can we get some help? <laughs> Search, search, flamingo, search. Have we actually lost smell. it? Can, can Have we actually lost it? Like oh! <laughs> One more. Thank you so much, handy hands. And what's all this about? What is this? We have another wing. Um, so as we talked before, and uh, we had the uh, last year was a digital award, so we were just on the screen. So we didn't have the opportunity to actually uh, celebrate and highlight this amazing creator that won the Wings Award last year. So with that, I'm going to welcome again to the stage Faiza, that won our Wings Woo! Award 2022. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know what you're doing. I I don't know what to say. Thank you, really. I really wanted to have like bring a souvenir from Maze home. And thank you. I can't believe that I'm a winner again and I'm a judge also. So yeah. Great. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Great job. Love it. Amazing, great stuff, um, super, super exciting. Two wings, as it should be, two wings, two wings. Um, there, there was a ball on the stage, there was another ball over there. Do we wanna do this one? Oh God, I was really hoping it wouldn't be this one. Um, it's say the next sentence backwards, so this may require some processing time. Um, uh, award next, the... Um, present, must, we now? Now we must present the next award, does that make sense? Can we run the tapes, can we check <laughs> that it was correct? I wanna put the award ceremony in reverse and you hear satanic messages and also this sentence. Um, anyway, let's, let's present the next award. We are nearly at the final award of the night already, I know, oh my gosh. Um, very, very exciting. But before then, we have another really, really exciting award uh, that is more audience participation. It is the Audience Award. And this is an award that's voted on by all of you at the show. You'll have had some stickers uh, given to you, perhaps, when you've walked into the show. Uh, and you've put some stickers to vote for your favorite game of the show. Uh, we know the flamingos in the Amaze space. Hello. We've been seeing you confettiing and dancing to Ixa and everything. Uh, they've also been uh, voting in the Amaze space. Uh, and uh, we can reveal, I believe, uh, the top three uh, most voted for audience awards. So can we, can we, can we see them? 
we can see them. It's, it's just a dream, don't worry. With the head. Lost on Mars with the, the manuals and the switches. And the amazing reality altering game Viewfinder. <laughs> So, we're going to play a little game with all of you in the audience and the flamingos in the space. Uh, and we're going to say, flamingos in the space, uh, if you can move to the left side of the space you're in, uh, if you think it's just a dream, don't worry, is going to win. Uh, move into the center of the space if you think Lost on Mars is going to get the award. Uh, move to the right of the space if you think Viewfinder is going to take the award. And let's do it by way of applause here. Uh, it's just a dream, don't worry. Are they winning? Pretty good. What about Lost on Mars? Ooh, pretty equal. Ooh, ooh. A little bit of a tail on that one. And what about Viewfinder? Who thinks Viewfinder's going to win? Ooh! My goodness. OK, it's, it's, pre it's pretty close, I believe. So I think we can now reveal the winner of the Audience Award. Let's reveal our winner. <laughs> come up to the stage. Are you here? Are you here, team? Yes, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, congratulations. <laughs> Go on. Go for it. More people. Come on. Everyone on the stage. Oh, there's a mic. Where's Glenn? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone. It's been an honor to be here. Um, thanks to everyone who's played the game and voted. Um, yeah, cheers. Oh, we're taking this with us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 why not? <laughs> An award and a watermelon. Would anyone else like to say anything? Who's got the words? You will. Can you record me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get my phone. Can someone... Hi, <laughs> 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 okay, you're recording me, okay. Oh, amazing. This is chaos. This is chaos. I was drinking upstairs, so I'm very sorry, and then I heard that <laughs> after we lost earlier. <laughs> after we lost earlier, I started bribing the judges. Oh. Everybody, <laughs> we should win something. Also watermelons, you know, we should win. No, but okay, you're recording me. Fuck you, Callum. Why are you not here? <laughs> you can stop the recording. I, I just want. That's it. That's all they needed. We won. <laughs> Thank you. Also, watermelon supremacy. I can. Thank you. I also want the award, cause you know. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations! Round of applause, everybody! <laughs> wow. Incredible stuff. The watermelon cult wins today. Truly wins. Incredible. Oh, 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 more. This one missed. Oh! oh. Okay, this is the lucky one. This is the fabled one. Wow, it's, 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 go it's going wild now. Incredible. Thank you all so much for voting on these awards. Use a completely illogical metaphor. <laughs> still going. We're still going. How are you carrying a giant inflatable watermelon and two beers? Like a chair soaring through the waters of Isengard, they walk. Uh, does, does that count? Is, am I allowed to say Isengard? Are we going to get sued? Um, anyway, uh, what do we have to do next? My goodness, it's like chaos up here now. Um, 
Okay, I, th I, think, I think, should we do one more ball? Are we gonna do one more ball? Let's do, make up a secret handshake with a flamingo. Uh, oh, flamingo, okay. All right, you ready? You ready? You good? Okay. Okay, three, two, one, boom, boom, up, down, little finger wiggle, and then like, shh, secret, it's a secret. Very good, very good, Flamingo. Very good. Okay, okay, brilliant. It's the one you've been waiting for. It's the last award of the night. It is the most amazing award. Oh my gosh, we've had some illustrious winners uh, over the course of Amaze's long 12-year history. We love it. Um, so, to present the award for most amazing this year, please welcome to the stage the winner of last year's most amazing award, Gabrielle. Gabrielle, are you here? By way of applause, is Gabrielle here? I was told there's a Gabrielle. Oh, oh, you're here! Hello! Hello! Oh, we can't hear Gabrielle, or can we? That was a rookie mistake. I have to <laughs> unmute. There we go. <laughs> Hello. So, so Gabrielle, I made the game with Gabrielle, but he is currently teaching a class on video game design. So I am here instead. My name is Albert. Albert. Great to meet you, Albert. My goodness. How lovely to have you come in. Uh, wonderful yes, to see you. Yes, thank you, Jen. And thank you for attending uh, the Amaze Award Show. Uh, obviously, you won the most amazing award last year. I remember it well. Very, very exciting moment. Um, I mean, you were judging this year. That must have been a different experience to come from winning that award to, to, to judging with it. Um, uh, but yeah, how was winning last year? Like, how, was, how did that feel? Oh, it was incredible. You know, it was um, a milestone for us. We made our game and we put it out in the world and, you know, you don't hear too much and you're kind of like, did, we, did, it, did it make a splash anywhere? And then all of a sudden we won this award and it just gave us a new appre appreciation for everything we've done and helped validate, you know, all the, the hard work we did. So it really changed everything. We got into a couple more festivals and people were playing our game that, you know, never had heard about it. So it was a game changer. Brilliant. That's, that's so great that Amaze can help make that happen for you and, and have a whole audience appreciating your great work. Well, you were in the position this year of being on the jury for judging the most amazing award. Now, how do you go about that? Obviously, it's the, it's the, it's the Hype Amaze Award of the night. What kind of qualities, maybe without spoilers, are you kind of looking for in a most amazing game? Like, what qualifies a game for a most amazing award, do you think? Yeah, so... Um... I have something that Gabriel wrote here because he was actually on the jury. I, I did not play the games, oh, but um, but but he he played them and he he wanted me to uh, read this. So he says, uh, choosing the most amazing game this year was absolutely a challenge. The diversity of the experiences alone made it incredibly difficult to judge them all side by side. It was only through the deep deliberation and meaningful discussion of the jury that we were able to finally decide on the winners. And um, yeah, so should we take a I look know at the that nominees? he really loved the games. Yeah, <laughs> amazing, brilliant. Well, thank you for 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 showing up uh, in uh, in Gabriel's stead. And uh, yeah, let's let's check out the nominees for the most amazing award, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is Jeremy Couillard. Uh, together with the musician Chris Parello, we're working on the third-person open-world game Escape from Lavender Island. Uh, thanks so much for checking it out, and I'm really excited to be here at Amaze. My name is Jonathan Corrid. I'm a video game creator and artist. In my work, I really enjoy creating uncanny scenes showing the interactions between intimacy and death. That's precisely what I've done with the game I'm showcasing today, Player Non Player, where you can pet everything, including the dog. Thank 
you very much for your continued support. Hi, I am Abby Howard. This is Tony Howard Arias. Hello. We're Black Tappy Games. Uh, we create intricately branching, braided narrative horror games where your choices really matter. We are honored to be nominated, and it is so nice to see these years of hard work getting recognition for everyone. And I am so excited for whoever wins. Okay, and we were blown away by the finalists here. Each nominee presented excellence in a different way, ranging from dark and atmospheric moods to colorful and absurd worlds. At times we were scared, at other times we were puzzled, and many times we would find ourselves laughing along. Perhaps most importantly, there were moments of profound connection. This year's most amazing game created a space of longing for human interaction, and it fulfilled that longing through surprisingly vulnerable characters along with a simple but engrossing mechanic that stands to challenge the way we interact in game worlds. It's strange and warm and complex. It's a fresh and, a, and irresistibly human experience. The winner of the most amazing game is Jonathan Corinne with Player Non-Player. <laughs> Congratulations. Whoa. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did that freak you out? <laughs> I was like, how I'm, was what motion? I'm shocked. Like, it was so. Um, uh, I mean, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> Another round of applause. <laughs> I mean, um, Is there anyone you'd like to thank? What? Anyone you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I <laughs> really want to thank. Uh, I dedicate dedicate this award to to Melanie Cortina, which um, came here just to see me, to support me, and supported me like for six years during the um, the development of the game. It was. I mean, uh, I also want to to say that we should be proud of ourselves of the all the am amazing games uh, showcased here, because Game Dev is. It's, it's fun, but it's also really, really hard. Like, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, had, I had nightmares with code on shaders. It's <laughs> terrifying, really. But in the end, when you create your small world and see people interact with it, it's priceless. So thank you. Really, it's everything. <laughs> Congratulations. <Thanks. laughs> that is genuine shock. It was genuine shock. Was anyone else shocked by that? Who was expecting that? Anyone? Anyone like, yeah, player, non-player, let's go. Incredible stuff. Congratulations, Jonathan. And thank you so much, Albert, for, for stepping in when Gabriel is away. Um, lovely to see you present the award to this year's winner. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Well, with that, we are out of awards for the night. It has been wonderful. Um, we're like out of balls, I think, unless anyone has any, any more to give. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. It didn't count, it didn't count, it didn't, oh, come on. Okay. Why are flamingos pink? Wrong answers only. Uh, <laughs> I saw something about algae up there earlier, but that feels like cheating. Uh, flamingos are pink uh, because they feel a deep sense of shame um, about the fact that they can't fly very well. I don't know if that's
That's true. Um, and it results in them blushing absolutely all the time. Um, so there you go, a little bit of trivia you can take with you for the night. Thank you for playing along. Some of you more than others. Uh, but that was lots of fun. Thank you for, thank you for laughing. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my gosh, what now? What now? Well, right now here in Berlin uh, at Amaze uh, Festival Onsite, uh, we of course have the after party, the Jump and Run. This is this is a long one. Jump and Run Monster Amaze Awards after show party at Panka. Yeah! <laughs> thank God. Uh, and you'll see loads and loads of amazing artists perform there. It was an absolute blast last year. Oh my gosh, we were sweating, we were dancing. And of course, part of that show includes the legendary DJ set from DJ Storno right down here in the front of the crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Ixa, of course, as we heard from them earlier, Ixa is also going to be at the Panka after party. So there's going to be so much. Come along, honestly, it's such a blast. Um, uh, if you're in the Amaze space, uh, you can you can party. You can you can throw confetti. There's ways to party with your fellow flamingo there digitally as well. Tomorrow, if you're still alive after all of the panka carnage, uh, you can come back to the exhibition. We're still going, still showing amazing, playful experiences, uh, getting involved with all sorts of alt controllers and uh, fun schemes and mischiefs. So come along. Uh, there's a game jam. There's the 10 years indie arena hangout. Uh, there's a mini LARP, I think, which sounds amazing. Uh, what else? Open mic, like God knows, like I will not be doing that. I've had enough public speaking for a long time. Um, yeah, um, just after this, like stick around. Uh, we're gonna get uh, all of our nominees, uh, as many of you are here on site at the moment, uh, and the Amaze team who've been working super, super hard behind the team, behind the behind the team, behind the scenes to bring you this show. Uh, they've been amazing. We're gonna do a big clap for them at the end. Um, we're gonna get all of you on stage after the credits uh, for a group picture. Um, but many of you might want to stay until after the credits, I'm told. There's some kind of extra scene, so stick around. Um, yeah, but with that, I think we need to do some thanks. So thank you again to all our judges, jury. Um, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you for coming on stage. It's absolutely terrifying. You all did great. <laughs> Hopefully I wasn't too mean. Um, but yeah, round of applause for the judges, please, and the jury. Incredible. Incredible. All artists who submitted to the Amaze Awards obviously have to narrow them down. Super difficult job. Uh, absolutely amazing submissions this year. Um, everyone I've talked to has said what a blast it was to play through them all. So congratulations if you submitted this year. Great job. Thank you again to Ixa uh, for that incredible series of performances. Very excited to see more later. Amazing stuff. Thank you so much to the Amaze team here putting on this show. Thank you to In Theory, amazing tech behind the scenes. Oh my gosh, making it all happen, making it so we don't mess up. Thank you to our incredible volunteers. Torsten's already shouted them out, but we have to shout them out again. Thank you to the Flamingo Hands, of course. And thank you, volunteers, for giving up your time for this show. Thank you to all of our sponsors, obviously in the highest definition possible. We love to see it. Thank you, sponsors, for making this happen. Oh my gosh, I'm still knocking over things. Stay forward. There are still so many people to thank. Thank you, Matthias, for absolutely saving my ass. Also, bought a million beach balls that we could uh, vandalize. An incredible person making the show happen all year round. Uh, we'll be starting on the next show, I'm sure. Thank you so much, Torsten S. Wiedemann, for being an incredible advocate for art games, playful experiences, crazy stuff that is out there, always inspiring all of us with your amazing, amazing speeches. Um, we love you, and thank you, obviously, everyone here for supporting Amaze, for coming along, spending your time, checking out people's games, talking to people, celebrating the art game scene that we all love and we all know is so, so precious and brilliant and uh, like essential for the future of our industry. So thank you so much for all of you for coming along. I'm out of breath. And thank you. <laughs> And thank you for having me again. <laughs> okay, and we'll see you all at Panka. Thank you. <laughs>